Robbery Night Round 2 of 2023 took us back to the gymnasium named after iconic coach Claire Bates. I'm Leland Barclay and it's my privilege to host the River Valley Sports Report where we highlight River Valley athletes and schools. The Van Buren Pointers won their third straight conference basketball game and improved to 2-0 on Tuesday rivalry nights with a 61-36 win over neighboring Alma. The Pointers jumped out to a 17-2 lead after a quarter and increased it to 20-2 to open the second quarter on Connor Myers three-pointer. Van Buren held a 33-11 halftime advantage before Alma cut Van Buren's lead back to 44-26 after three quarters on five baskets by Israel Towns Robinson. The Airedales were within 45-31 on a driving layup by Camden Curd in the fourth quarter. Van Buren closed the game with a 16-5 run started by a dazzling basket underneath by Glavin McDonald who also added a free throw after being fouled on the play. Meyer scored 22 points and yanked down nine rebounds. McDonald and Jackson Cazell each added 12 points and drew Braswell nine. Towns Robinson led Alma with 14 points and 11 boards. Van Buren head coach Brad Autry loved his team's energetic play on Friday night and talked about the game's start as well. Yeah, I've been so impressed with our guys over the last uh, three games for sure that we've won, but I would, I would say that cumulatively over the last seven, eight games, these guys have just continued to amp up their energy and their togetherness and their and their selflessness, just just in one common goal. And I'm so proud of them the way they came out tonight and and continued that throughout the game. And it's always nice to beat your rival too on your own. You Are they a rival? Court. Is Alma a rival? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Yeah, it is nice. How nice, too, is your balance. You had 22 for Connor Myers, 12, 12, 9, and then, uh, you know, Malachi Henry hit a big three for you. So, I mean, good balance all the way around. I think I think guys are, are really buying into their roles. I mean, that's something that I, I, Connor had a great scoring night. But I, I was impressed early in the game, especially with guys turning down looks to get a better look. I got a good look, but here's a better look. And I think our our mindset in terms of sharing the ball, in terms of we over me, I think it's growing. It's it, it's it's. I just told him in the locker room, we're growing into a really tough and selfless team. And I love to watch it. It's it's why I coach. It's why I do what I do. And year after, I love to watch kids come together, come together, and and be greater together than individually. And I I just love that about our guys. Well, and you had a lot of assists too, which is part of that. Sure. Well, you got to make a shot, but but that that turning down a good one for a better one is 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 cliche, but it's everything offensively, inside out. Turn a good one down for a better one, I'm, uh, and I think that we're really buying into that. We're really buying into roles. When am I supposed to do it? When are you supposed to do it? And not caring who does it, and that's the whole deal. In the girls' game, Van Buren also went on a game-ending run to close out a 43-38 win. Senior Kaylee Barber scored 13 points with three three-pointers and a key basket in the fourth quarter to pace the Lady Pointers. A giddy Barber struggled to find words even to describe the team's play after the game. It's awesome. Great memories. <laughs> how, uh, how big was the defensive effort by your team tonight? Oh, it was great. We played our hearts out and we played our butts off and it paid off for us. How nice were the, I think you had three, three pointers tonight. Uh, you, you know, did that feel pretty good too? Yes. What's been the key for you as far as, uh, you know, your scoring and your shooting your senior year? <laughs> Not letting my teammates down and just bringing points on the board for them. Van Buren head coach Michael Kinney talked with us about his lady pointers and evening their conference record up at two and two after the win. Yes, uh, I'm telling you, we knew it was going to be tough, uh, and we talked all week about about battling on defense, on the defensive end. We knew they had some great shooters. We had to get out to them, and uh, you know, in the first half, we limited them to 15 points. Uh, that was a pretty good effort right there. How big were the turnovers? Because you you definitely won the turnover battle in the game tonight. 
turnovers are huge. Uh, it gives you extra possessions, takes the possessions away from them. And, uh, you know, we've got a little bit of length and, and we were able to get some hands on the balls. But more importantly, we came up with those 50-50 balls. And that's one thing that we haven't done a good job of this year. But we did a good job of getting those 50-50 balls tonight. You jumped out to a big, you know, 10 to 2 lead after the first quarter, uh, had a five point lead at halftime. They took the lead in the third quarter on you. How important was it to answer quickly at that point? It was very important. Uh, part of our MO this year is, is we've had some leads and given them up and uh, have not taken them back. We, we've ended up getting beat in those games. And so uh, for us to be able to come back, take the lead and win the game, uh, that's huge. Uh, that's a big step for us. The game of the nine involving a River Valley team was undoubtedly in Salem Springs on Tuesday night where Anna Trusty scored at the buzzer to lift the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs to a 60-58 win. Greenwood led 36-26 at the half, but Salem Springs outscored the Lady Bulldogs 21-10 in the third quarter for a 47-46 lead and was up 58-51 with 3.07 left. Trusty finished with 25 points, 7 rebounds, 6 steals, and 2 assists. Maddie Cartwright had 16 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals. Senior Adriana Russin scored 4 points and had 10 rebounds. We talked with Cartwright after Friday's 89-32 win over Harrison last week about her role this season as a senior. Uh, well, usually we don't play very good when we slow the ball down, so we just try to get us to get a big lead as fast as we can, push the ball as fast as we can, because when we slow it down, we get in our heads and we dribble it too much, and it might not end up the way we want it to go. Uh, it's your senior year. Um, have you kind of taken on a little bit more of a leadership role? Do you feel some of that this year? Yeah, I feel like it's more important to help the younger ones, because, I mean, it's their first year in high school. They haven't really had much experience with more physical girls than they have in junior high playing against girls that we've always played against. And it's just good being able to help girls and lead them anywhere that they need to go. Also this week, the LaFleur County Tournament in Oklahoma is being played at four different locations across the county. It's the longest running true county tournament west of the Mississippi River at 92 consecutive years. Girls semifinals are Thursday night, boys semis are Friday, and Saturday's championship games will be held in Spyro. That brings us to the weekly segment, Gimme Five. These are the top five performances of the past week in the River Valley. Number one, we always start with the River Valley Player of the Week, Braley Forrest of Paris this week. The senior forward scored 32 points, yanked down eight rebounds, and had six steals in a 64-48 win over Charleston on Friday after missing a game against Hackett earlier in the week because of an ankle sprain. She had games of 27, 25, and 24 points earlier this season. Forrest had 23 points on Tuesday night in a 55-40 win over Cedarville. Number two, Hayden Morton scored 49 points in Cedarville's 82-62 win over Paris on Tuesday night for the fourth win in the last five for the Pirates. Number three, the Greenwood Lady Bulldogs remained in first place in the 5A West but had to score the final nine points on Tuesday night at Siloam Springs to win 60-58. Anna Trusty scored the game-winning basket when she grabbed the offensive rebound after her own miss and scored at the buzzer. Number four, the Charleston Tigers remained undefeated in the 3A4 with a 59-55 win at Hackett on Tuesday. Brevin Ketter scored 26 points in the win. Drake Dodson added 14 and Brandon Scott 12. Last Friday, Scott had 27 points and Dodson 12 in a 60-51 win at Paris. Number five, Boonville swept a varsity doubleheader from Cassatot River on Tuesday. The Lady Bearcats won their 22nd straight conference game with a 40-32 win led by Leah Swint, who scored 13 points and had six rebounds. The Bearcats finished a 73-59 win with a 12-0 run to end the game. Coulter Fisher had 20 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists. Jace Washburn had 19 points and 9 boards. To keep up with all the basketball action, you definitely want to check out every day the Northwest Arkansas and River Valley Democrat Gazette where you will get Players of the Week, rankings, scores, standings, and notes for the most comprehensive basketball coverage in the state. 
You'll also want to pick up the Sunday River Valley Democrat Gazette available all across the River Valley, including Eastern Oklahoma, Walgreens, Harps, Come and Go, and Casey's. Last week's feature was on senior Karis Washington of Northside. You can subscribe online at nwaonline.com and click the subscribe button or by calling our customer service line at 479-684-5509. Be sure to follow the River Valley Democrat Gazette Twitter account as well as mine, Walters and Harold's. You can view and purchase photos from our award-winning Arkansas Democrat Gazette photographers that can be seen and purchased on our website, nwaonline.com slash photo. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. We're going to wrap up this week's River Valley Sports Report, not with videos or photos, but a request that you please pray for our sports writing colleague, Paul Boyd, who's undergoing brain surgery this week, as well as the Lamar community who lost a student athlete in a car accident on Wednesday. God bless you, and we'll see you next week.